you're either sour like a lemon or you got the zest like a lemon. So it's like, who go both ways? For me, I think I got the zest. So like, I like to think that when I rock on stage, the ladies and like the fanboys are like looking and they're like, yo, that guy got zest. He got the lemon. Whereas there could be people like rock up and you're like, yo, this guy's sour. <laughs> he got the lemon. <laughs> Once it melts in your mouth, pause. That's what my music does to a lot of people. If you plug Taro into a guitar amp, it would sound like Boya Tribe at a heavy metal concert at the power station. There's a connection between Taro and heavy metal, man. It's, there's always been a connection. The coconut cream element is the smooth, like the suave kind of like, yo, the student fuck around, he's smooth like coconut cream. He got that taste like, you can have normal cream in your raw fish and that's bland, but you add that coconut cream, just like how you add the coconut cream in the music, it's like, yo, fuck, he got the coconut cream. From that list, it read like it was gonna be a dessert and we've totally gone savory. Even though it's small, it's like way more complex. You guys want some? Oh, yum! So what we've done is we've taken your chocolate almond and we've made a chicken mole with a taro tostada and a lemon coconut sour cream. Wow, she gets me. She gets me. I'm gonna try just do this one go. Mmm. The zest in my music is in here. I don't fuck with this. What would you call it? So it's like classic Mexican street food. So that's a chicken mole. Well, it's the mellow mole right here. <laughs> and how did you do the taro? So the taro's been pureed and it's been just put into like a tortilla mix. The lemon on the top just makes it like, fuck this is so yum. Mm.